นี่ได้ไปตอนนี้ควิกฟาดไอ้ตุ๊กอาเซนต์ไซโอ้ฟาด
Well, don't you see there's nobody around who knows how to scrub her down properly? Well, she could always go and stay with her mother, sir. I am still referring to Sophia. Yes, sir. Of course, sir. <sighs> Disaster. That's what it is. Disaster. Well, read on, Sergeant Major. Who else are they after? Me, sir. Oh? <laughs> oh, bad luck. Here, yeah, you better join me. Oh, thank you very much, sir. That's very kind of you, sir. Oh, very best respect. Not all, not all. Thank you. Moments crisis, sir. Ah, cheers. Cheers. Ah, ah, that's better. Yeah, shock's passing. Ah, read on, Sergeant Major. Who else? One other NCO and four men. Ah, you better wrap round for volunteers, I suppose. Not that you're likely to find any. One other NCO and four men. Yeah, dash, if I go myself, I can think of something. As a matter of fact, so I think I've got just the men for the job. Well, volunteers? Oh, yes. They'll be volunteers, all right. They don't know it yet, but they will be. Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. Now, have you got it? Yeah. Well, what is it, then? Slow, slow. Give us a clue. How about that? Quick, quick, slow. Right. Now, you lead. Yeah. Slow. Slow, quick, quick, slow. Oh, 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 what's oh. the matter, Foos? Did I turn on your foot? You clumsy great clock, you ruined me for the dance. For reversing foot and all. Come on. My game, I believe. Yeah. Is it you always manage to win then? Easy. I cheat. Hey, Spring. How about the escort for the Barley Queen on Saturday? Air Pot is calling for volunteers. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about, mate. It's against me principles to volunteer. But it wouldn't hurt just this one spring. Son, when I first joined the Kate, my dear old man gave me the benefit of the rich storehouse of his experience. Got by four years of dodging the column in World War One. Sonny said to me, there are only two things you've got to remember in the army. Always draw two more blankets than the issue and never, never volunteer for nothing. Excuse me, Spring. Can I ask you a question, please? Yeah, what is it, son? What do you want to know, then? Well, it's about the dance on Saturday. It's not the dancing I'm worried about. It's the asking. Whenever I ask a girl to dance, I never seem to get the right answer. Well, it's simple, son. When you ask a bird to dance, if she says yes, you dance. If she says no, you don't. When I ask a girl to dance, she don't say yes and she don't say no. What does she say? Drop dead. <clears throat> it seems to me, Popeye, that you're using the wrong approach. Now tell me, what do you actually say when you ask a girl to dance? Oh, the usual thing. Watch it, doll face. How about lending me your frame for the struggle? <clears throat> oh, blimey, where'd you learn that? I've seen it in a picture. It worked in the picture. Yeah, well, it won't work down the Itchwick Corn Exchange. Here, I'll show you, son. Imagine Cuppy as the Bincy. Well, I walk up to him like this here. Confidence, see? Like I'm not expecting to be fluffed, see? Hi. Cool, you little darling. Damn, let's waste this smashing music. Let's you and me carve ourselves a piece of flour. Yeah, I like that. Oh, you little darling. Don't let's waste this mashing music. Let's you and me carve ourselves a piece of floor. You do, and I'll have you on a charge for willful damage. Shoot! Sure. Oh. What's that you're wearing, Papa Will? A runny bikini? Get it covered up. Stand on attention and get that covered up. All right, stand easy, you lot. This is a friendly visit. I suppose you're all getting worked up about the dance on Saturday night. Yeah, that's about the strength of it, sir. Oh, yes, sir. I'm all worked up, sir. Oh? Yes, sir. What about the guard of honour for the girl that wins, eh, sir? You ain't got the volunteers yet, have you, sir, eh, sir? Cool. Funny you should say that, Bisley. I was just on my way to the naffy to get this here form pinned up on the notice board. 
First five to sign where indicated will be the lucky lads. Sir, it might save a long walk back to the naffy if... Uh, if what? If we were all to volunteer. Wait a bit, wait a bit. Remember what I told you. Never volunteer for nothing. I'll volunteer, sir. Good what? lad. Me and all, sir. Yeah, what? me too, sir. Are you gone, buddy? All right, sign your name. Well, what's, what's the matter with you, you look you? That's it. Right, 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 you next. Well, well, yeah, and you, yeah, Papa, well. Right, That's right. I'm surprised at you. What's the matter, Corporal? Holding out for better terms? Yeah, I'll give this in. At the bottom there. My poor old dad would turn in his cell, I'll tell you. Thank you. and this is a most important occasion. Come along, man, come along. Don't you know how to do up a tunic? Oh, you've done it wrong. Leave it alone. I'll do it myself. I should have thought it was a perfectly simple thing to do up a tunic. Oh, last thing. We've had a signal, Your Excellency. The troops will be here any moment. Oh, good gracious, and look at me. Salaman, my dear fellow, I wonder if you'd mind my hat. It's on top of the wardrobe in there. My sword, where's my sword? You know this is a most historic occasion, Salaman. This is the first time the British troops have set foot in Darawa since 1886. We shall be very happy to welcome them, Excellency. Yes, yes, of course. <laughs> ah, thank you, my dear fellow. Now, Salaman, have the troops paraded in the square. I'll review them as soon as I've informed the king of their arrival. It should be done, Excellency. <sighs> haven't reviewed troops for years. I hope I haven't forgotten the drill. Oh, yes, of course, talk to the men, that's the thing. Make them feel at home. Have medals, that's always a good thing. <laughs> Ah, my good man. That's an interesting medal, the DCM, of course. And you, my good fellow. That's the Mons Star, isn't it? <laughs> and, uh, oh, Salomon. Your car is waiting, Excellency. Yes, of course, we must go. Down the stretch, it's torn. Your Majesty, every survey I've done shows without a doubt that this is a rich soil-bearing country. If we haven't found it, it's because we're not drilling in the right places. Look, Ferris, I'm not saying it's not so. I'm an oil man, and my job is to find oil. I've drilled so many holes around here, this desert is beginning to look like a pinball machine. Nevertheless, Mr. Oldie, you agree to drill just once more in the new spot chosen by Mr. Ferris. Okay. One more try, and then, if there's no oil, I quit. His Excellency, Sir Redvers Wilkins. Your Majesty. Greetings. It is with great pleasure, Your Majesty, that I report the arrival of the British forces. Their arrival is timely, Excellency. Our friend Mr. Ferris here assures me that their latest drilling will yield oil. We hope. I have every confidence, but when it does, I fear it will be the signal for my brother, Mahmoud, to start a revolution. Oh, I should just like to see him try. Have you ever seen the guards in action, sir? I've known a German panzer division to tremble at the thought of meeting them in the field. 
And now, if Your Majesty will excuse me, I must go and receive them myself. By Jove, I'm trembling too. like some more? No, oh, we could do a spot of counter marching, bandit fixing, running on the spot, stuff like that, sir. No, I mean, is that all the truth? Oh, oh yes, sir. At least I think so. Excuse me, sir. Yes, sir. That's us, sir. All present and correct, sir. Good gracious, what on earth am I going to say to the king? Well, I suppose I'd better review them. Oh, yes, sir. By all means, uh, help, sir. Canada's star, isn't it? No, sir. Merseyside Jive Matter from 1955. Oh. Take that man's name, Sergeant Meadow. Ah. Oh, you're a tall chap. <laughs> Are all the members of your family as tall as you? No, sir. My brother Alex only three foot six. Only three foot six, eh? <laughs> Too small for the army, what? Too young and always only four. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe just one too busy. I say, those aren't the correct footwear, are they? Oh, no, sir. You see, I'm excused, folks, on account of me feet. A bit on the ribby side, sir. I've got a chit here for him, sir. It was signed by the CEO, the first camera I was ever read. Ah, well, not well, nice chap. Colonel Spenton. He went a bit potty, though. That's enough, Bisley. Well, I was just telling him about it. I said that's enough. Uh, Major, I'd like to have a word with you in my quarters. Oh, certainly, sir. Uh, by the way, sir, you wouldn't have something tucked away in your quarters suitable for a, for a thirsty man, sir? I would, Major, and quite frankly, I'll join you. I've never felt more like a drink in my life. Oh, sir. Uh, come along. Sorry, go ahead. Dear <laughs> yeah, sir, can we dismiss now? This son's murder. We should dismiss when the officer come on and give us order to dismiss, and not before. Oh, do you mind? Don't bunch melting me. Sir. If any of you lot lose so much as a little finger, you'll be on a charge for the rest of your natural. Do I make myself clear? Right. Now we're here to show this lot what the British Army is made of, and show them we will now then. Uh, so do Major? Well, if you insist, sir. Just a spot, right? Oh, 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 don't want to drown it, do we? Thank you, sir. Ah, corn in Egypt, sir. Huh? Well, down the hatch, sir. Uh, <coughs> <laughs> oh, by George, that hit the spot and no mistake. For good health. Oh, thank you very much, sir. Very decent of you. Cheers. <laughs> ah, <coughs> oh, export one. <laughs> Major, I uh, don't quite know how to put this, but the fact is, uh, well, your uh, squad is not quite what we were expecting. Well, don't tell me they didn't let you know we were coming. I say, isn't that typical? Excuse me. Oh, yes, we knew you were coming, or rather, we knew somebody was coming. But, uh, well, we rather hoped you'd be a brigade of guards. Oh, come now, really, I say. Do we look like a brigade of guards? Be perfectly honest, Major. No, you don't. <laughs> well, then. <laughs> the point I'm trying to make, Major, is that uh, the job we have in mind is uh, perhaps more suitable to a brigade of guards. Oh, come now, sir, really. My chaps may not be very fancy, but they're very keen, and, uh, and uh, very keen. Uh, How are they at fighting? Fighting? <laughs> they fight all the time. Matter of fact, there was a little dust up in the village just before we left. Something to do with the WAF Corporal, I think it was. I'm talking about fighting with guns. Oh, yes, sir. I quite appreciate what you... Uh, guns? Guns. Good oh, gracious. Excuse me. <sighs> Major, have you any idea why you were sent here? Well, very little, I'm afraid, sir. You know the army. Ours not to, how's it go, reason why, ours but to do, and... Yes. Now, look here, Major, I think I'd better put you in the picture. Darawa, as you know, is a British protectorate. We have vital commitments here. Okay. 
there drink the water, sir. Get back in the ranks before this fire! Just you wait, Bobby Chambers. We'll make you sweat for this. Oh, dear. I think I'm going to have one of my dizzy spells. I've convinced the king that his brother won't dare attack now that the British troops are here. Well, I don't think things are as bad as all that, sir. I don't think I'm pitching it too strong when I say that my chaps are perfectly capable of looking after a couple of handfuls of fuzzy wussies or whatever they are. Prince Mahmoud, Major, has 2,000 tribesmen, all armed to the teeth. 2,000? 2,000. To the teeth? To the teeth. Good Lord. Getting a bit cooler now, don't you think, sir? Oh, yeah, Sergeant Major's right. We've got to show the population what we're made of. Of course he's right. The Sergeant Major's always right. We're going to stay as we fly, ain't we, sir? My Sergeant Major's one of the coolest men you ever met. <laughs> I bring news of the arrival of the British forces, Highness. So, how many? Seven. Seven division? No, no. Seven men, Highness. Two motors, seven men. That is all. You are lying. You have not kept watch. You've been in the bazaar stuffing your fat carcass with sweetmeats. It is not true, Highness. We watched day and night. Six men and one officer, that is all that came across the desert from the sea. <laughs> My poor brother. To have such faith and be so deceived. So be it. And the British soldiers, Highness. Kill them, of course. Yes, Highness. Sure. No, I mean, the work went on to see, huh? Yes, Sam, don't mind, dear. That kit will do me. Gracious. Wuthering Heights. Yes, yeah, spring with all this, then. Ain't the bridal sweet, that's a certainty. I like it. It's homely. It's what? Homely? What sort of an home do you come from, then? This place is a dump. That's it. That's what my home is. A dump. Hey, fellas, get a hold of this. Victorian pinups. Of course they are. Don't you see? This place hasn't been occupied by British troops since 1892. You can say that again, mate. It's enough to put you off sleeping for life. Here, Spring. Yes? No. No? What's this, Spring? Oh, that's your mosquito net. Ah, oh, ridiculous. You never catch a mosquito in this. There's no handle. Papa well. You put it across your bed to keep the mosquitoes out. Oh. Oh, this must be your instruction book. Yes, it is. Now, I'll read them, and you do them, right? Right. Here we are. Mosquito nets. The putting up of. First, lay out across the bed. Make sure the bottom touches the bound on all sides. Eh? Oh, well, one of these days I shall forget myself. Oh! 
Hear what it says in this guidebook. The social importance of the male is determined by the number of his wives. For example, a merchant, according to his wealth, may possess anything from 10 to 30 wives, whereas the average peasant may have only three. A right merchant. A poor peasant's life can be hardly worth living. Listen to this. Naturally, the king has the most wives of all. By tradition, he has 365. 365? Bad luck about leap here. <laughs> now attach centre of net to ceiling hook provided. And check it out. Now, move back a little. Where? Just a little bit. Where? Not too, no, no further. No, what, no, what, what? Now put your hand up. Hand up, that's it. Look. No, it's, it's right over your head there. No, look, put Where? your hand up. I can't higher. With that. Come with over the higher, look. Yeah. Now we shot Captain. Who oh, are you then? Say, Danny, sir. Occupation guide, also general merchandise, and odd job man, sir. He show you pretty ripping sport, eh? Chin chin, you fellow. Cock the flatter. Yes, sir. My grandfather, sir. He served the British here, sir, in 1888. He teach me the English speaking, sir. Long live the Albert Memorial, sir. <laughs> Now look here, Fred. Uh, what do you say your name was? Fred Danny, sir, Fred Danny. Right, well look here, Fred. Yes, you look to be the sort of kiddie who might know where the body's buried. The body? Uh, please do come again, sir. Well, you know what I mean. Where the action takes place. What's on in Darawa? Oh. Ripping sport. Oh, the ripping sport, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Leave it to Fred no. Danny, sir. Yes, sir. All you've got to do, sir, is to meet me in the town square at 10 o'clock PM, sir. 10 o'clock, on the dot. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Here, here comes Posse. Quick, Scott, Posse. Yes, sir. All right, come on, come on, let's have you. Stand by your beds and answer your names. Over Springer. Sir. Patrick. Sir. Cook. Sir. Bisley. Sir. Pumberwell. Sir. Well, well, well. What have we here? The dance of the seven veils? No, sir. It's me, sir. Pumberwell. Is it really? I thought it was an exotic butterfly about to burst out from its cocoon. Get it off! That's easy, sir. Get it off! Now listen to me, you lot, and listen carefully. I'm on to you, see. I don't know who pulled that trick on parade this afternoon, but mark my words, I'm going to get to the bottom of it and get this lot off of my well. Now, tomorrow morning, you mount guard of the Orwell, so it's lights out at 10 o'clock and no tricks, see? Yes, yeah, sir. Don't we get a bit of a look at the town? In case you haven't heard, Corporal, this place is in a state of emergency. Sir Redford Wilkins, the resident here, especially asked that all troops be kept off the street so as not to spread alarm and despondency in certain quarters. Whatever that may mean. Anyway, there's a nine o'clock curfew in operation, which means anybody on the street after that hour, be civilian or otherwise, are for it. And get this place cleaned up! Now what do we do, Spring? Well, now, Cupcake, me old son, we're not the kind to let a little thing like the nine o'clock curfew stand in the way of a bit of fun, are we? Oh, correct, sir. Ah, Tom Edder, just writing a letter to the wife. How are your quarters? Oh, much better now, sir. Oh, my quarters? Fine, sir. I'm next door to you, sir. The minute below us. Oh, good show. Well, uh, better turn in now, sir, Midway. Good night, you. Good night, sir. <sighs> the heat is appalling. The flies are merciless. Wish you were here. Hmm. Now for the bright lights. Oh, really, you have to do that. Oh, friendly, Fred, very sorry, sir. Right, Fred, here we are then. Ready, willing, and able. Oh. So lead on to the fun and games, eh? Sir, I know what Tommy wants, sir. I think you to ride, please. Not too pricey, mind. We don't want air cut and trim. Yeah, spring. I hope we get a cuddle. Yeah, 
Yeah, patience, son, patience. Don't let your hot fantasy blood get the better of you. Right, into battle. Lead on, son. Please, sir. Please, to follow, sir. Please, please. Please, sir. Please. Please, sir. This is it. Dead lucky to have this friend to mark our card. <laughs> Paradise. <laughs> well, consult Madame Zaza. Please to meet yourself absolutely at home. Yeah, mind your money, boys. Ain't a non-smoker, that's a certainty. Oh, no, sir. Please to take a few, sir. Not to worry, sir. All these gentlemen are chums of mine, sir. For you, sir. Officer commanding, non-commissioned officer, sir. Special seat. Yes, 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 Good, yes. Well, bring on the dancing girls, Fred. Oh, no, sir. No ladies allowed. Why? No. Oh, at least it's better than staying at home watching the telly, isn't it? <laughs> Not as jolly as it's every night, sir. Some nights it's a bit quiet. Well, in that bed, tonight's the big night. Sir. Sir. Ooh. Oh, nice, isn't it? Gargon, I'd like something to eat, Fred. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'll have a double sausage and mash. And some porridge, please. D d and some uh, porridge. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. The kitchen is closed. Yes. Well, how about a fag, then? I'm dying for a snack. Oh, yes, sir, yes. Please, to have a gas, please. Please, please, sir. Please, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Here you are, mate. It's a great little cigarette. Sir. I'll pass. Thank you, no. I'm trying to give it up. This is very good tobacco. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Not exactly tobacco, sir. No. No, it's... It's, uh... it's very good all the time. Phew, what a performer he was. Here, yeah, Boots. What? Just one of your songs. Oh, I don't like those. Oh, I'm things out of it. 
Give us one of your songs. Well, if... Oh, all right, then. Pretty fair, this boy. Get you going a bit here, have a bit of a giggle. Now, I'm a lovely boy, I've knocked around, I've worked a trick or two. But of all the things I've ever learnt, there's one I'll sing to you. If ever you should roam across the scenes away from home, don't forget what you have left behind. And why there's the sight of London town, the fish and chips all golden brown. Oh, don't forget what you have left behind. Poor old mother at the sink. Oh, dear old dad's out on the drink. But there be shrimps and winkles there for Sunday tea. So, if ever you should roam across the seas away from home, don't forget what you have left behind. All us boys around the park, with the girls would have a laugh. Don't forget what you have left behind. Put yourself together. Put yourself together. Oh, oh, what a go oh, oh, oh. Right, lads, on your feet, everybody back to the billet. Let's have you. Oh, 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 Fine exhibition of morale in front of the natives, I must say. Well, that's the last time I take you lot out of a night. Homesick. We only just got here. Very good for prestige when the gallant British Expeditionary Force is homesick, ain't it? This was your chance for travel, excitement, adventure. I've got a good... Hey, somebody's dug a dirty great hole in me kit bag. That's odd, so they have in mind. Do you know something, fellas? I think we've all been murdered in our beds. The best of Anglo-American luck. Oi, how about getting us out of here, then? Oh, give us a chance, Bertie. I'll think of something. You better. Because if I was to get my throat cut here, I'll, I shall have something to say about it, I'll tell you. Died by the good liberty. Didn't want to come here in the first place. Sir Edward. Yes, Your Majesty. There appear to be only five soldiers guarding the site. Oh, really? Does the Brigadier consider that sufficient? The Brig... Oh, uh, well, now, uh, Oh, yes, uh, Yes, I expect he doesn't want to draw attention to the presence of troops, Your Majesty. Perhaps he feels that, uh, Well, uh, Anyway, I'm sure it's all part of his plan. Sir Edward, I think you have been in the sun for long enough. Perhaps we should turn back. Yes, Your Majesty. I think perhaps we should. Zamara. Hey, Spring. There's only one way we can get out of this. We'll have to tell Potty about last night. What? I never saw put on a charge for breaking the curfew. You, you know. Well, have you got a better idea? As soon as we finish here, we're going to see the Major. What about? Cricket bats. Cricket bats? Oh. Yeah, you come in. I'm uh, just looking over the uh, lay of the land. Delightful view we have from here. Now, what do you want to see me about? It's the man, sir. They've put in a request to see you, sir. Oh? Do you know what it's all about? No, sir. They said it was a personal matter, sir. Oh, very well, sir. Major, well, wheel them in, will you? Sir. Sir, uh, 
It's a bit private, if you don't mind, sir. I think I'll go and see if there's any mail, sir. Yeah, good idea, sir, mate. Carry on, yeah. Well, sir, we'd like to put in a request, sir, for some sports equipment, sir. Sports equipment. Cricket bats, football Cricket boots, bat. hockey sticks, all hockey that stuff, sir. All that stuff. You see, sir, being as how we're all, sir, dead keen on dead physical keen recreation, sir, we feel a bit a frustrated, bit like, frustrated, without frustrated, the gear. Sir. Frustrated, eh? Yes, well, it's pretty important, the physical side of things. Well, what can we do about it? Well, sir, I thought if we was to send off send a signal, sir, signal, we could sir. have the stuff here in a couple of... Chiefs? Chiefs. Ah, that's a very good suggestion. Yes, I'll get the resident secretary to shoot off a signal right away. Oh, no need to bother him, sir. We use the radio transmitter, the profit, uh, private actually, dear sir, is a very competent radio operator. Ah, well, I don't suppose it can do any harm. All right, chaps, you help yourselves. I'm going to have tip in with the resident. Carry on, Gordon. Go on, go on. Go, keep a look out. Right, go on. Go on. Yeah. Yes, previously a lot of fuss about cricket bats, isn't it? Right, bro, ready? Ready. But take this down and send it off. Uh, situation, Dadawa, now normal. Continued presence of troops, unnecessary. Request immediate return, never opping. Signed, Upshot Bagley, Major. Now you're talking. Signed, Upshot Bagley, Major. Now, let's get the call signed. Situation, Dadawa, now normal. Continued presence of troops. Oh. oh, that's that. Roll on that boat. Hey, Bob, I, what's up with you? You look like you've seen a ghost. I think I've seen a marriage. Hey, Bruce, you take a look. I need a second opinion. Yeah. Come wrong with your eyes, up. <laughs> Oh, oh, Bruce, what do you make of this lot? Good gracious. That must be King Fazim's harem, where he keeps his 365 wives. The jackpot. Quick. Hey, give us a temper, Jack. Yeah, look, yeah. 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 Uh, well, uh, we was uh, just admiring the view, like, sir. You know, uh, flora and fauna. Oh, I understand you've taken a sudden interest in the Englishman's favourite sport. Eh? Oh, the cricket. Yes, sir. So until the gear arrives, I thought we'd have a little bit of PT in the morning. Oh. Just to keep us fit. Oh. All right, buzz off. Spring, listen. I thought of a way of getting into the harem. Well, we'll make a balloon, fill it with hot air, and float in. There's only one thing filled with hot air around here. Build a balloon, do you mind? Well, it's only an idea. You can go on at me. Here, Spring. I thought of a way of getting into the harem. Ah, son. Why don't we make a balloon, fill it with hot air, and float in? What do you want about? That's the answer. The answer to what? I don't know. What was the question? You've got to hand it to him. He's daft. I have been tricked. But they will not escape a second time. Be assured, Fazal. The next time I shall not fail. us here at the starting point. If we go along here, and if my calculations are correct, we should come out somewhere in the centre of the Harin Garden. That's here. Nice work, Prof. 
How's the tunnel coming, Cap? Oh, the gear spring. The sand's dead soft now I've got through this concrete. All right, Bootsy, that's your lot. Get cracking. Right. You know the drill. Off yeah. you go, son. Ian, yeah. keep your eyes skin for Potty. Yeah. Ian Bootsy, what? play it casual like. Yeah, you ain't got a broom, have you? Yeah. Pot boy, son, you're next. Go on. Hello, sir. Hello, Papa Well. Looks like rain. Same. I'm filling up the crack. Just made everything nice and tidy. I like saying. Spring, I ran into potty, but I think I fooled him. Fooled him? In that case, we're in dead trouble. Come on, duck. Looks like cake. Give me that sand. Not down the old somehow. Ow! Sorry. we can do for you, sir? I'm not sure yet. Oh, that's the reason I couldn't read it. What are you talking about? You know you never learned to read. Well, that's another reason. Sir! Sir, would you want to for me? It won't take you to Oh, yes, ever so many more rows. What are you doing, Patsy? A very interesting hobby. You should have joined the Navy. Just one thing before I go. I don't know what you lot are up to, but let me sound a note of warning. If it's anything to do with these nibs lady wives, take my advice and think again. That their harem is out of bounds to all personal, even officers. Anyone caught inside or consorted outside with the goods what's inside is for it. It's out of all British jurisdiction. And we can't be responsible for anything that might happen to you. So remember, look before you leap. Right, carry on. Well, what do we do now? You heard what old Potty said. Look before you leap. Yeah. Well, what do you say, Pop Boy? Shall we look or shall we leap? Let's leap. Oh! No, you Springer. I've had it. I can't dig anymore. All that sand. 35 bob a yard a ton. How far do you reckon we've tunnelled? Oh, about four feet. Oh. Well, what about it, Prof? I just made an interesting calculation. Given that the distance between us and our objective is, let us say, roughly 40 yards or 120 feet, and given that once we start the tunnel proper, it will be necessary at every step to shore it up with timber to prevent a cave in. Hey, and do, me given that... do me a favor, will you? What are you trying to tell me? Well, it's simply that unless my calculations are incorrect, we should reach the harem in exactly two years, six months, and four days from now. Two years? Six months, four days. That's not very long. What are you talking about? 
Here, Spring. Two years. That's no good to me. Yeah, but Boots, just think where we'll be two years from now. I'll be too old to care. Yeah, I'll never get my car. Oh, Look what you've done. Well, it's only a tire car to bring a car on her. the floor. Hey, the stairs going down. He come back, Captain. Here's oh, oh, another. Hey, hey, hey. Come on. The Tunnel of Love. This tunnel was built by the boys of the 55th Queen's Own Dragoons, 8086 to 1892. We leave it now a monument of British pluck and ingenuity in your tender care. Leave it as you would wish to find it. And the best of luck to you all. Cheerio, pip pip, and good bless Queen Victoria. Signed Ginger Perkins, Chief Engineer. The Tunnel of Love. Can't be bad. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's get the place cleaned up. Yeah. Oh, tunnel of Love. Oh, oh. Come on in. This is no time for sentiment, son. Sorry. Let's keep the flag. Here you are, then. I wonder if I'll get my cuddle. Ah, oh, no. S.C. Loves Dina, 1891. Fawzia is my darling. Ginger Perkins, 1892. Now perhaps I'll get my cuddle. Beware of Sheba. Corporal Ellis, R.A.M.C. Noise downstairs, sir. I think we'd better investigate. Yes, yes I suppose we'd better. Uh, well, uh, after you, sir. Miller. After you, sir. Anybody here from Liverpool? 
Well, there's only one thing for it, Salamander. We'll have to call out the troops. Oh. Oh, I forgot. We are the troops, aren't we? Ah, oh, those poor blokes. Kidnapped by those ruffians. Heaven knows what'll happen to them. Something unspeakable, no doubt. Ah, poor blighters. Just seemed to vanish into the night, sir. When I got out there, I couldn't see a blind thing. Sorry, I did my best, sir. No, it's not your fault, Sergeant Major. It's mine. I should have had the guts to tell them what they were up against. I, I'll never forgive myself for that. That wasn't a bad lull, I suppose. Needed chasing about a bit, that's all. I'll say one thing, sir. I wouldn't be in their boots tonight for anything. Oh, Moa. Moa, Moa. Oh, this is better than a punch up the throat, isn't it? Oh. This place would make a smashing holiday camp. <laughs> Here, with a loaf of bread beneath the bough, a flask of wine, a book of verse, and thou beside me singing in the wilderness, and wilderness is paradise, you know. <laughs> uh, beneath this hard exterior beats the art of a sincere boy. Huh? That's a very fair bit of tomfoolery. I'm in love. Beneath this hard exterior beats the art of a sincere boy. You're all right. There's no fright. There's one for each and every one of you. Nice spring. Get a load of that. A redhead. Ginger Perkins. It's up, boys. It's the lower. Sending themselves from their quarters in contravention of the curfew that is now enforced in the area and misusing government property to wit, filling issue bolster covers with quantities of sand. Sir! And I think Sergeant Major and I wasted a lot of sympathy on you. All right, has anybody got anything to say? Go on, speak up, somebody! Well, sir, we just popped out for a spot of air, sir. You've no idea, sir, how stuffy them rooms get, sir. And all the men huddled in there, well, it gets a bit naughty. All right, all right. Under the circumstances, perhaps it's just as well. Anyhow, I doubt whether we'll be here more than a couple of days now. What? You mean we're going home? Yes, looks like it. Yes, I had a word with Sir Redvers, and he tells me they've drawn a complete blank on this oil caper, so there's not going to be any trouble here after all. <laughs> How's that for good news, huh? Mashing. OK, cut the engine. Just like I thought, no oil. Another hole in the ground. All right, Don, you win. But I still say there is oil in this region somewhere. Well, cheer up. We're rented to somebody for an oversized golf club. Come on, fellas. Well, that's the gear, isn't it? Just got ourselves nicely fixed up with all the home comforts and they go and shift us out of it. Isn't that a way we can make them keep us here? Well, you heard what the Major said. No oil, no toots, and there's no oil. Well, if they can't find oil, we'll have to find some for them, won't we? What are you drooling about? But why? Bung us that drum of diesel oil by the generator. Look sharp, son. That's right, son. Bung it down the hole. Oil, Highness! They have struck oil! Pass the word! The art has come to strike! <laughs> So I'm afraid, Your Majesty, there's nothing left for us to do but to pack up and go home. I'm deeply sorry. You did your best, and I thank you for it. 
We're a poor country and the oil would have been a great blessing to my people. But if it's not to be... What was that? It sounded like gunfire, Your Majesty. No, it can't be. Greetings, brother. My apologies for arriving unannounced. It was thoughtless of me. Prince Mahmoud, as Her Britannic Majesty's representative, I demand an explanation for this, this extraordinary behavior. My dear Sir Edward, as Her Britannic Majesty's representative, Surely you recognize a coup d'etat when you see one. You mean? I mean that Darawa has a new king. Be kind enough to consider yourself and your friends my prisoners. Aren't you forgetting something, Mahmoud? I have a brigade of guards at my disposal. They will wipe out your miserable rebel in an hour. <laughs> <laughs> my poor brother, you have been cruelly deceived. Sir Edward? There is a brigade of guards, is there not? Uh, yes, Your Majesty. Uh, well, that is uh, well, not exactly a brigade, Your Majesty, but uh, the fact is... Bring in the brigade of guards. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I resign. So you see, brother. There is nothing to stand between me and the throne. And of course the oil, which these gentlemen so kindly found for me. Oil? But we've not found any oil. Really, gentlemen, you must think me a fool. My men brought me news of success the moment it happened. You're crazy. There just isn't any oil. Don't lie to me. I saw it with my own eyes. Come. We will settle this once and for all. These men will come with me to the oil well. The rest will remain here. I will decide their fate when I return. If only we could get to the fort, Your Majesty. We could hold out there for weeks. Impossible. My brother is no fool. By now the whole palace will be completely surrounded. Where does this lead to then, sir? That is my private entrance to the harem. Here, spring. It's the tunnel of love. Four rebel guards, that's a bit dodgy. Oh. Come here, fellas, I've got it. Go away, you old spring. He gets some smashing I did. Who, me? Diesel oil. Right, now then. Oh, yeah. Give us your head, son. Let's have a look here. Yeah. How do you reckon it? Yeah, it looks like the rope was shaking up. I feel like one, I know. All right, lovely, into the yard, eh? Come on, get oh, yeah. oh, What you call these? Boom. Well, take them off. The old days, boys, boys. Well, this is it, son. Good luck. And try and look passionate, will you? Well, he was the biggest.
that's a splendid sight, eh, Sir Meadow? Yes, sir. Very splendid sight. Picturesque devil. Hello. You to be coming this way. Yes, I do, sir. Well, what do you think they are, Sergeant Major? Friends or the other thing? The other thing, sir. You're right, Sergeant Major. Then what do you suggest we do? I suggest we go and lock and bar those four gates before they get here, sir. Yes, a very sound scheme. Come on, follow me. <laughs> We have some troops. We did, sir, but I think we're safer without them. I quite agree, yeah. <laughs>
My dear British soldiers, it has been my wish to find some way in which I can thank you for the services you have rendered to the Protectorate of Darawa. I therefore bestow upon you, for all time, the freedom of my country. Go where you will. Do exactly what pleases you. And so that your days may be pleasant and your nights contented. I am giving you one-tenth of my oil royalties for as long as you care to stay here. God, that'll bring in the wages. Boys, we're rich. I say, Your Majesty, I... Crikey. On behalf of the men, Your Majesty, I should like to express our appreciation of your kind and generous action. And furthermore, my lady wife and I will... Company! The ball! Great Lord, sir. Permission, please, to speak to my master. Excuse me, Your Majesty. My uh, new secretary. A special message, sir. Just received on the Fred Marconi tank wireless, sir. Thank you. Oh, it's for the Major. Your Majesty, will you excuse me a moment? Uh, major! Major! Uh, major! Ten percent. Be like having a triple chance up every major. week. <laughs> major! Major! Oh, this is sir. you. Oh, thank you, sir. Sir! Well, what's all this about, I wonder? Your request, immediate return, never hopping granted, leave for port of embarkation immediately. I didn't request immediate return, did you? Le no, I didn't, sir. All right, you lot, I want beds made up, kit, packed and stove, ready to leave in ten minutes. Oh, dear, dear, what have I done? What have I done? Oh, yeah. cricket bats, wasn't it, he said? <laughs> I shall never get used to being a poor private again. Ah, well, facts are dear old nether often, and the match gaiety of the nappy. Everybody here? Hello, there's one missing. All right, where is he? Hello, Al! All right, Papa, well, let's see what you've got in that bag. Well, so Come on, open it up. Well, so yeah. Are we allowed to take our many souvenirs? <laughs> well, I only asked. <laughs> 